Hey everyone, welcome to Archland. So, we're going to go over a few things if you guys are stuck. Um, first and foremost is going to be Mercenary's Journey. Um, this one, this just requires you a lot of effort in terms of playing. Each day, it's going to be 8 quests. So, 8 quests to complete. Um, up to 7, that is going to give you 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. 56 so that's 56 points all in all and but you only need to have 48 points to get clarice so take note that this only requires you effort it doesn't require you anything else um except for this one you don't need to complete this one the one time purchase from the package shop uh you can still get clarice without purchasing anything okay so that is actually what i want to come across and uh, once you get all of these rewards, this will help you as well in progressing, summoning, and a lot of things during your early progression in this game. And for those who just started, there is actually a week two rewards already coming up. This is going to be her um, exclusive weapon, so Dragon Flame. So the same principle, you'll, you're going to have to make sure that you play this day in and day out and you know just um clear what is required of you and you might be stuck in some of these um content so next um what you call this the next thing that we're going to be talking about is how to get you unstuck in some of the content here so why do you think you're stuck already so sometimes you're stuck in the story of course the story some of the um uh, areas in the story require you to be at a certain level to be able to play it also let us go to your um hero so you're also uns you're also stuck actually depending on the trait because some traits are also level dependent like this one level condition is going to be at level 35 so for me i'm at level 34 or 33 so again, um, you that is where you're going to be stuck. And of course, um, the other content, like for example, if you are at Infinite Dream, um, most of the levels actually go up. So you'll be forced to level yourself up. Like for example here, for you to clear the next stage, you have to be at least level 35 or else you can't clear it. I've tried clearing it with lower levels. It's It doesn't really work. Um, you should be able to be at that minimum level. For example, at level minimum level 35. Okay? So, unless it specifies a range, so treat this level as your minimum level. So, that is what that is a term unstuck um stuck. So, story, traits, other content that requires you to be at a certain level. Okay. So, first and foremost, I'd like to Bring it to the most obvious. I don't know if you've uh, if you've noticed this. I'm just gonna claim this one. So more energy for the quest. Um, please make sure that you complete your daily training because the XP that that is given here is for your avatar or for your account XP. So as you noticed, your account XP is going to be your cap. So like me, I'm at 34, 33. So my my heroes can only be up to 34. So you need to raise your team level cap for you to raise your um, individual heroes cap. Okay, so training is very important. Your daily training, uh, completing it, uh, the daily missions is very important, especially for the energy and all of the other things that you'll be getting from this one. Okay, so that is the obvious one, but sometimes we forget about these things that um, we need to be reminded on what we should do. Second is going to be, I'm going to take you back to the promised land. Although all of these things are going to be important to you, the, the, how, how you level up all of the facilities here. But the most important here, if you're going to add stats to your heroes, is um, unlocking Academy. Okay? So it's very far. It's, it's uh, I think it's in the middle. 
So you have to unlock Academy because your Academy is here. Academy will give you more um, more stats to a specific class. So this is going to give you more training. So more, more stats for Warrior, Shooter, Tanker, Mage, Priest, and Ranger. So develop your Academy. Um, make sure that you do this. Um, Warden, where, where am I going to get currency for this one? So if you guys haven't unlocked it yet, it's actually here in your adventure and your secrets and here, Academy Materials. So try to make sure that you unlock at least the level. If, if it's 35, then I'm 34. At least unlock level 30. Then once you, you step on 35, then try to unlock 35 because the rewards when you sweep are better um i think in terms of um in terms of drop rate so and also i think as you as you level up the more rewards that you're going to be getting okay um academy is one of the ways that you could add uh, stats abilities to your characters okay so again this game is about adding more stats and adding more abilities to each of your characters that you are bringing so let us go to to your heroes okay so there are some content that requires you let's go back let's go back let's go back there are some content that requires you specific traits to clear them recommended properties because they deal more damage but if you use a the opposite property they're gonna get more damage obviously so um the other thing that you should consider going back to hero is be able to have at least you know at to start this is to start this is for beginners um, at least have one of each color, one of each element. So you have um, you have water, you have fire, you have lightning, and obviously you have light and darkness here. So the most important three of the elements are going to be um, lightning, fire, and water. So at least have uh, one DPS and one tank for each each element of those three. And you'd be good in clearing. So, but if you don't have that much um, in your roster, please make sure that at least you have one color of each. Um, again, I can't stress this enough. Um, to start, you're gonna struggle because of the limited roster that you have. But as you grow, as you play daily, then your roster will definitely expand. Especially if you are summoning for more, uh, summoning for more heroes every. Not every day, every week. Okay? So, do not ignore elemental matchups. That is one. That is why sometimes you cannot clear some of the content right in front of you. So, let us go to Charlotte here. Um, okay. No. Uh, okay. Let us go with Charlotte here. So, next would be um, also to make sure that your equipments are are leveled up minimum would be your srs so i would highly recommend that you level up srs to ssrs to make sure that every um every character or every hero that you have is well equipped and has a stacked to the brim so for this one i have ssr and sr for clarice and also next for your traits okay I actually made made this mistake of uh, I'm just gonna show this to you guys. You're gonna I'm gonna struggle with this, but it doesn't matter. I already made a mistake, so I'm just gonna show this to you so that you will avoid it. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Here she is. So it's going to be Gabriel. What I did was I spent these tokens here. The the essence of pure revelation you're gonna get these as soon as you reach certain levels uh for level 35 i think you're gonna get one but what i did was when once i opened once i got another one i opened 
uh, the 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 uppermost and the bottom one. So please make sure that you only concentrate on the center tree. So the center tree is basically stats, and um, this is going to be a skill. So stats and skill. This is your main tree, the center one, and try to focus on one other tree, either the upwards or um, the downwards tree. So up or down, depending on how you're going to be building your character. Okay, because there, this one, let's say, for example, you are here. It's going to be requiring this token here. So if I used, I was supposed to unlock, I was supposed to unlock this one. Instead, I used it here. So please make sure that you you concentrate on two lines first so that you can progress further. I think you can unlock all lines in the future, but again, it will, you know, it will slow down your progress or the growth of your character. So for me, I have no choice although I unlock this one and this one and this one I should have unlocked this one and going down so anyway i made that choice um for the others i made a wiser choice like for example for charlotte uh charlotte is going to have two trees two trees not two threes two trees so so far well enough build and more or less please do not make the mistake that i did um or else i think you're gonna be slowing down the progress of your specific character or hero okay okay so traits we're done with traits then we're gonna go with rune so for rune for charlotte um runes actually only activate on a set of four like for example here your vampire set so vampire three and vampire two it doesn't matter even if if it's vampire one it's uh sorry it's it's going to be the the slot number okay so for a set to be activated you're gonna require four okay uh if you put two of you know um two three sets of two you're only gonna be only activating the first line so like for example you're gonna take this out so as you can see as you can see uh I'm only activating two. The four, the, the four, the four of the set is not activated. So I need to bring it back to activate everything. So each of the rune sets requires four minimum. Then the, ne the next two sets here are going to be just two. So it's going to be only activating the, fir the, the first uh, line here, which is usually plus HP, plus attack of a certain percentage, or usually it's 5%. But more or less, that is how you're going to make your runes work. Don't make the mistake of just mixing and matching without triggering the effects here. So I made that mistake, so make sure that do not do that because with that, you're also going to be stuck with a few abilities that you have with your character. Okay, so in short... Like, for example, in your trait, if you're going to be farming for a specific, um, you know, color or element or re resource, please check your characters first before going to the stage itself because do not over farm a specific resource that you do not need. Okay, that is actually one of my mistakes. So, again, do not over farm. Make sure that farm what you only need. So that you can, for example, I only need this one. Then just go click on and click on the stage, then farm. Then do not, you know, do not do not go to the stage and just farm anything that you like. Okay. So those are the things that can help you get unstuck. So again, training ground, promised land academy. Ignoring elemental matchups is bad. Uh, uh, what else do I have here? So gear. Um, at least SR to to level up. Trades develop two lines or two trees. Two lines initially. Do not go for the third one yet. Probably at the end of the second one. Uh, runes. Again, 
make sure that they're in a set to activate and probably level up um, some of them because um, I think the SR and the SSR are good to level up. The rest you can leave be. Again, guys, manage your resources well for this game or else you're going to be regretting it and more or less you're going to be stuck in certain content like what happened to me. So that is it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Um, more content um, tomorrow. Gonna be going to be having more time. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.